Cam phaser. Cam phaser has been knocking. Want to know how to fix it? Without buying a new one? First, you rig it apart. What's going on is that inside there's a locking mechanism that's spring fired. Meaning, one side there's oil pressure that pushes it and relieves it and opens it <clears throat> but to close it again it has to have the spring tension to push it back well what happens is after many many cycles of moving back and forth back and forth the spring becomes less springy thus creating the ever so dreaded knock because it's not locking into place which causes the knock so here we go. I'm going to show you what it is inside here. First, you need a T27 bit. I've already cracked this one loose momentarily. I decided to do the video. So you crack it open, find out where your spring is, mark it. For reference, the next spring holder is here. Pop it out. This is just a cheapy Taiwanese or Chinese made part, replacement part that was on this vehicle when I received it. But you gotta watch for this right here. The spring. See the spring? Cork. The spring will lose tension. So it doesn't want to close the valve off in here.
There it is. That is your keeper, your lock mechanism inside there. Goes inside here, which is a has a port underneath of it, which lets oil go onto the bottom side of it and push it up to unlock it. The only other wear parts on it are these oil curtains or um, sweeper. Keeps oil from going past it on each side because it fills up on oil on this side as well as the opposite side once this is opened or once this is closed. So basically what happens is <clears throat> that part right there and there and two more, one there and one there allows oil to go in through the bolt into these holes into these chambers creating uh, that pocket of oil fills up creates a like a cushion to keep this thing from bouncing back and actually adjusts the timing on the fly so the knock that you're hearing comes from that pin not engaging properly due to the spring tension failure. It's got a lock in place like that. Keeps this from moving. But that's what the noise is. It's this part actually moving, knocking inside of there. And it transfers the sound through the camshaft into your engine, making it sound like there's a, new, a catastrophic failure waiting to happen. That's all it is. So to this bore has to be smooth. And the pin has to be able to fall back relatively easily. A little force. There's a hole recessed inside the on that cover or on the back side of there where this is protruding into. Again, locking this. Now on the back side of these little sweepers, there's a spring, kind of a half moon shaped type spring sits in there on the back side and pushes this out forward to keep this sweeper up against, tight up against the walls in there. Keep the oil from going in from one side to the other when it's in operation. So how I correct it is, I take the original spring, pinch it off a little bit to where it'll still get inside your plunger, then find a ballpoint pin that has the clicker, and take the spring off of it. Stuff it in the middle of this one. Which keeps it from being so weak. can't find the replacement parts for it. I've looked everywhere. It's not available. 
long as there's plenty of tension on this, once you install it back, this is a lot of there's quite a bit of tension on it holding it down. Put your cover back on it. Pull your spring out. Push your pin in, your screw, screw it in, release your spring, and it snaps back on there. Holds it. This one's holding it. And that one's holding it. Easy fix. Save yourself two hundred and eighty dollars or three hundred and whatever it is for new ones. Tighten it all back up. Keeping this part centered to this inside ring. My torque wrench here, trusty old east wing. Right about that many foot pounds. special nothing hard about it just a pain in the ass to get to tension all sealed up